Becky from Kitty Cook and uh, welcome to this final instalment of the VE Day Alternative Afternoon Tea uh, Trilogy um, in which we will now be making uh, some buckwheat scones, so these are plant-based, gluten-free gingerbread scones and um, they're pretty yummy. Okay, um, let's have a look at the ingredients. So to make this recipe you will need two cups of buckwheat flour, a quarter cup of coconut sugar, a quarter cup of molasses, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, five tablespoons of coconut oil, one tablespoon of fresh ginger, one teaspoon of dry ginger, half a cup of vegan yogurt of your choice, and a quarter a cup of vegan milk of your choice. You can make this with dairy, yogurt, and milk as well, and you can make it with plain flour if you want, and another kind of butter or oil, and normal sugar if you want as well. Um, there we go. So before you begin, um, set the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, and also wash your hands and line your baking tray um, with greased parchment paper. All right, let's have a, a look at the method. Okay, so I have measured our flowers into the bowl already. Into this, I'm going to add my uh, tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon, of ginger, and I'm going to add my half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give that a mix around, oh yeah, and my coconut sugar. Give that a good mix around, and then we're going to start to add our wet ingredients in. Um, starting with, well, um, our coconut oil. Okay, so we're going to rub the coconut oil into the buckwheat flour, just as we would with a normal scone. Okay, so you'll know you're done when you've got just a few lumps left over, but mostly you've got like a nice sandy texture and you can just keep pressing those extra bits out as you go. Okay, so we're going to add in our chopped ginger, our coconut, uh, vegan yogurt, our molasses, and if you don't have molasses, that's fine. You can use um, just a, a normal kind of honey or um, something else. The good thing about the molasses is it gives a nice um, kind of rich, deep flavor um, that goes really well with the gingerbread. And finally, our milk. bring it together as a ball. Here we have our nice ball of buckwheat gingerbread dough. So I'm going to bring my baking tray over now. I'm going to just use a very simple method of doing this um, by shaping dough into nice smooth balls and this is also a nice way that little hands uh, can get involved. Um, shaping it into a nice ball, keeping it quite fat, just get that nice kind of round shape and then popping it down. So 
So, I have all my scones here ready to go in the oven. My scones are now out of the oven um, and I'm going to show you what they look like. Here we go. Here are my lovely buckwheat scones fresh out of the oven. So I'm going to take one of my scones onto my board and you can cut them in half but I'm just going to pile my cashew cream on top. and a spoon of my berry jam. So there you are. Buckwheat gingerbread scone with vanilla cashew cream and my berry chia jam. I'm going to eat this now. Enjoy!